This video will show you how to properly install the 31-320-RFX BNC RF connector to a 50 ohm RG-58U cable. The package should contain an outer ferrule, mill contact, and plug body. The spec sheet says to use RG-58A, which has a stranded center conductor, which is more flexible, but we'll use RG-58U for a better crimp and smaller decibel loss per meter. Trim the end of the cable to get a nice straight cut on the end. Use the coax cable stripper tool. Open the tool and verify the blades are set to A for the inner insulator blade. The data sheet shows 12 millimeters from outer insulator to center conductor. Ensure you leave over 4 millimeters of center conductor when stripping the cable. Insert the cable into the stripping tool as shown. Rotate the tool four to five times. Remove the cable from the stripper. Remove the insulation from the center conductor and then the outer insulator. If the copper braided shield is cut or the center pin has been cut, you will need to adjust the blade height until the braid and center conductor is not touched by the blades. Trim the shielding back leaving approximately 3.7 millimeters of shielding left. Make sure the center conductor is free of any wires. Place the mill contact onto the center conductor and see how much it needs to be trimmed to set flush against the inner insulator. I need to trim this a little over a millimeter. Now the melt contact is setting flush. We will show two methods for securing the melt contact to the center connector. First we'll use the Amphenol crimping tool with the CLT-1 die inserted. The data sheet indicates a .068 inch hex crimp. Close the tool slightly until the mill contact is held in place. Insert the center conductor into the mill contact and crimp down. The mill contact should be firmly attached now. The second method involves using a military specification tool it will place eight crimps on the center pin. Place the mill contact into the crimping tool, then place the center conductor into the mill contact. While pressing the cable into the crimper, squeeze the crimper to attach the mill contact. Slide the outer ferrule onto the cable, then twist the plug body onto the cable until the mill contact is fully inserted into the plug body. Slide the outer ferrule onto the plug body. The data sheet specifies a .213 inch hex crimp for the outer furl. It should be crimped at the shown location. Crimp the outer furl and ensure the plug body and mill contact are secured.